Our second inductee is Alicia Bernard. Alicia played four seasons of softball and basketball from 2002 to 2006. In softball, she ranks fifth in career batting average, while on the hardwood, Bernard scored nearly 800 career points and made 134 career three-pointers. She was a star. Uh, she played four years for me, and uh, her sophomore year, I was, able, uh, I was able to recruit a couple freshmen that came in to help her, and I told her, you can go down to 15 shots, because we had Kara Hill, and I said, you two can split the shooting, you know, and that way it'll help us. And they needed a type of player like that to grow the program. I remember visiting my senior year of high school and I, I remember seeing her and Kara Hill specifically, both you know, cornerstones of the team and, and thankful that they could build a program off of those two players and then it attracted more players and, and made us excited for the future because they were the foundation. Um, if they didn't have those two players, I don't know where the team would have built or grown from. It would have been very challenging for my freshman year and the, the team that came in at the time to be where we were by the time I, my senior year. So I'm very appreciative of having Alicia and, and Carol on the team um, to kind of set the pace for us and really grow from their time. Uh, she led us in steals. She led us in assists. She led us in three-point shooting. She was like second or third in rebounding at 5'4". She was your hustler, she was your true dedicated athlete. She was the type of player that you want on your team. Her work ethic alone, I mean, it's unmatched. I just don't, like even at your best, sometimes it's just not even as good enough as what she was giving. She just had a sixth gear. Like, it, you know, she's diving all over the floor. She's doing whatever it takes. She uh, was so motivated to work hard and everything. The other girls saw that. And she took it with them and helped them, worked with them. Uh, they would stay after and practice. Became a great bond, a great bond. Uh, they saw that work ethic, so they got into it. And that helps. You need someone to demonstrate and do it, and then I'll follow. Just for the pure fact of her work ethic and the ability to rise above, overcome adversity through some tough seasons, um, and stick with it, because she was a good basketball player. And she could have went elsewhere, but she stayed and she believed in the system, and she's the epitome of exactly what a Hall, some Hall of Fame member, especially of a school like Villa Julie growing into Stevenson, like she's what kind of set the stage for everybody else. And so we, we wouldn't be where we are today without athletes like herself. From the class of 2006, it is my honor to welcome Alicia Bernard into the Dick Watts Athletics Hall of Fame. Wow, that was, that was awesome. Um, I'd like to say what an honor and a privilege it is to be standing here this evening among the other inductees, other athletes, coaches, friends, and families. I would also like to thank those who nominated me and all who voted for me to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. I am still in awe as this is a huge once in a lifetime honor. Um, just a little background, I started playing softball in the third grade and my, my basketball career started a little later in seventh grade. Um, athletics quickly became a part of who I was, and I yearned for that feeling of camaraderie I would get when I'm playing and being a part of a team. Being an athlete helped me mold, in, hold, help me mold into the woman I am today. I learned hard work, dedication, commitment, acceptance, and accountability. Over the years, I never dreamed that one day I'd be standing here at my alma mater accepting such a prestigious award. I must give a huge thank you to Coach Chris Raymer as he was the reason I landed at Villa Julie. As a high school senior, coach was in the stands at one of my basketball games. I remember after the game, he introduced himself. I'm Chris Raymer, women's basketball coach at Villa Julie, and we'd love to have you play for us. I remember thinking, awesome, Villa Julie, where is that? <laughs> so coach spoke of the team. He uh, told me how there were girls that had never played basketball before college and how they were trying to build the program. 
I respected his honesty. And I could speak for hours on the type of person Coach Raymer is. I promise not to. Um, Coach is a one-of-a-kind man. He had a way of making you feel lazy. He, 8 a.m. I'd show up to college for class. He probably already put in a full game of racquetball, went for a run. Um, he had a he was a very energetic man and he had a saying for almost any situation. If you weren't hustling at practice, he'd say, Grandma's slow but she's old. And if you ever overthought a play, Coach would say, just kiss, keep it simple, stupid. I come from a small town in Western Maryland and I think he comes from about the same area. It earned me the nicknames Hillbilly, Hancock. Um, he'd call me pretty much something every practice, every game. I'm not real sure he knows my actual name. <laughs> Um, if I can say one thing about Coach Raymer, um, he really cared about his girls. He cared about the success, whether it was in basketball, academics, or in life. He was like a dad away from home. He really made the team feel like an extended family. The gym was one place I could go and not feel homesick those first few months at Villa Julie. Coach Raymer, you had more heart, more soul, and more love for the game of basketball than anyone I know, and I want you to know that I continue to admire you today. So thank you. My first year as a Mustang, I saw firsthand what Coach meant in terms of team building. We went 0-25 that year. I hate to lose. Talk about a humbling experience. My sophomore year, I will never forget that first win over Wilson College. It was an away game and you would have thought we won the NCAA championship. It was a big deal for the Lady Mustangs. The next few years looked up. More players came in. Kara Hill, Tonya Cristino just to name a few, and we became a competitive team. My senior year, we had a winning record, and we were even eligible for a spot in the NCAA tournament. Unfortunately, we did not make it, but when I was playing my last few games at Villa, the future of women's basketball was very bright, and they would continue to be competitive. I am proud to say that I was a member of the Villa Julie basketball team under Coach Chris Reamer. Villa Julie Com College has come a very long way from the days I was here. I've been back to campus probably a handful of times, and I walk around, I see the new fields, the gorgeous locker rooms, the new facilities. I'm so jealous. I was a, I was a two-sport athlete. Luckily, as a basketball player, we had a gym. We had a place to play our games. But with softball, I saw firsthand the lack of facilities. We had to be creative. We didn't have a field to practice on. We didn't have a field for play or home games on. I remember practicing on the grass in the front of the college and having Coach Ken and Coach Stephanie hit ground balls on the tennis courts. Even for our home games, we had to drive clear to Severna Park. Coach Ken would be in all of the softball field today. I mean, there's dugouts and stadium seating. It's pretty impressive. I didn't plan on playing college and soft. I didn't plan on playing softball in college, but as a freshman, I was finishing up basketball, and I'd never not played softball, so I figured I'll try out. My best memory of softball, my first game at Gallaudet University, first batter up, first pitch, and I had never been considered a power hitter. I was known for my bunting in high school. Boom, home run, over the fence. And it never happened again. <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd like to acknowledge my coaches, Kenny Balance, may he rest in peace, and Coach Stephanie Meyerson. Um, for allowing me to reach my potential as a college softball player and for believing in my abilities as an outfielder. I also need to thank Tonya Cristina for her presence and friendship during my time at Villa. We still talk about how we first met sitting in Coach Raymer's office watching a basketball skills video. Little did I know the impact she would have on my time at Villa. Tonya quickly became one of my best friends on and off the court. I loved playing alongside her. She was the type of person that made everyone better. She always pushed to get me to play one-on-one -on -one or hit the weight room for more workouts. Tonya made me a better basketball player and I truly feel she is one of the reasons I'm being inducted today. Most importantly, I would like to thank my parents. Without them, I wouldn't be the woman I am today. They taught me hard work, dedication, respect, humility, and integrity. They pushed me to excel in athletics, in academics, and in life. They encouraged me to try new things and never let me quit even if I didn't like something. Each game I played here, home or away, I knew when I looked into the stands, my parents would be there. My parents have always set that tone in life. They were always and always will be there. My parents are my biggest fans, were then and still are now, and I can't thank them enough.
Lastly, I want to say to my daughter Tristan, who you all hear, I hope one day you'll be a part of a college that makes you feel like family, just as I did during my time here at BJC. Thank you.